Wow, so now you're 75 and this will be the eighth time running across the United States. How far do you run each day? My average is 32 miles. 32 miles, so, so more than a marathon every yeah, day. Yeah. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 411 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Good morning Bumblebee. Good morning Bumblebee. <laughs> and we are here drinking a morning coffee in the Curlew National Grasslands in Idaho. We just crossed the border over from Utah yesterday, literally I think it was about 10 miles ago on the way to this beautiful camping spot. And I don't know if you can notice anything different about this morning but we're sitting on chairs. <laughs> we have chairs. It was our first night with our brand new tent from Climate. Kindly donated by these guys and I really can't believe it. Like I unzipped it this morning without any trouble. Like <laughs> our old tent was really on a brink to just uh, completely collapse. It was so, so urgent for us to get a new tent and we have a palace now. I feel like a queen in this tent. Yeah, let me show you guys inside. Oh my God, look at this. We've got a nice big pocket here. We've got some pockets on the side. This is like my one. And then you've got Lavi's one up there. We've got like a, a pocket in the middle for loads more storage and one down the end with a power bank in. We've got our double insulated mattress with our sleeping bag zipped together so this was just like the most luxurious night we have had in a tent i think ever in our lives we had our tent our old tent for a long time we walked the ta with it 3000 kilometers we cycled across britain 2000 kilometers that tent <laughs> did really really well for us yes but when every night you don't know if you're gonna actually be able to zip it up and protect yourself from all the creepy crawlies having to use pliers on the zips to try to tighten them up so to have a brand new tent is such a relief and it's so beautiful, I love it so much. I had a really good night. And we have two doors. I don't even know what to do with my door. I've never <laughs> had a door, I'm always on the inside. So I, I don't even know what to do with this luxury, but thanks climate, we really enjoy it. Mwah. But unfortunately we can't stay at this beautiful camp all day because we've got a mission. So let me show you guys where we're headed. So we are here and our mission over the next three to four days is to continue our way north through the US, through Idaho, Oregon, Washington, to reach Vancouver in Canada. Yeah, it's super, super crazy. We have a long way to go. We can still feel in our bones that we traveled so much the past two months. You know, we didn't really have time to rest. We have just four more rides yes. before we can have a good rest yes. while Bumblebee makes her way over from Vancouver to South Korea. <laughs> yes, I'm so super excited as well just to lay in bed for like 24 hours. But anyway, we have an exciting day ahead. It's already 8.30 and we still have to pack up everything. So better hit the road, let's go. Very peaceful, snowy peaks. Yeah, wow, look at those in the background. That is amazing. 
Yeah, I love you America! I'm just amazed at how many of these amazing camps there are like all over the place just these areas where there's little fire pits and shelter with the trees Yeah, it's so cool So cool So here up ahead is the Interstate 84 which is basically going to take us all the way through Idaho but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get on here hey because I think we're going underneath Oh no! Okay all right, we're heading away from the interstate now. <laughs> Back into the mountains. I do really enjoy riding these roads, definitely. They're amazing roads, but uh, I'm sure we're not going to get much distance doing this. Okay, I'll take the next right and that'll take us hopefully closer again to the interstate. And there's a cow in the morning. Good morning, cow. <laughs> With the stop signs, you know, <laughs> no one around. Stop. Hey, I'm going to I'm going to obey the stop sign. You mm -hmm. never know if there's a police officer waiting in the in the bushes behind the cars. Okay, so let's just wait for the traffic to pass. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Looks good. Well, you just can't be can't be sure. Might be a truck coming. I think the coast is clear. We'll find our way to the interstate <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> we're heading away from the highway again. I think we're on our way to a farm. Mm -hmm, it looks like it. Got some ruts here, hey? Oh my God. It's all right. Okay, you okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just, so the ruts okay. are kind of pushing around my tires, but it's okay. Okay. Okay, okay hold on a minute. I'm going to go down in. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. That's a bit of an adventure in the morning, isn't it? We're going on a rural cow tour of Idaho. <laughs> okay, hold on a minute. Some rocks. It's always an adventure to find wild camps and then ride out in the morning. Cow control ahead. Oh yeah. Have you got your cow passport ready? The whole bovine brigade is out today. No problem, Coos. No problem, just gotta no come problem, through. Buddies. I hope there's no bulls here. Look, this cow doesn't care at all. <laughs> Look, okay, okay, Q's fine. Fine. Okay, we'll go on this side. Okay, you go on this side. Yep, thanks, guys. Go about your business. <laughs> go about your coo business. Oh, my <gasps> lord. Oh, no. Okay, <clears throat> looks like we've got a fet. Oh, I almost rode into that. All right, let's see if we can, if we can unhook this. Yeah, we can. <laughs> At least this road in front has a name, the 38,000 West. <sighs> hey, I lifted it up by myself. <sighs> So this road should get to the interstate. Yeah, apparently. Oh. Okay. It's okay, guys. <clears throat> Not all good. Okay. Whoa. Okay. This is a ridiculous road. It is actually ridiculous now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Seriously, what's going on? Thanks, Google Maps. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> oh, that was rocky. We've already done 12 miles. Wow. This is like the least road road that I've ever seen with an actual name. <laughs> Oh yeah, just take the 38,000 west. <laughs> no problem. Imagine you're like in an RV and you like go on the map and you're like, oh yeah, we'll just hook up on the 38,000 west and then you end up there. <laughs> There's no chance. No chance. We're just riding right in the middle of two giant fields. Yeah. Yeah, the fields here in America are really big. Really big. Really big. And there's no hedges. Oh, I can see the interstate again. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're getting closer now. Here we go. 
Yeah, back on the 84. There we go, adventure over for the morning. Cruise control activated. Now we can just sit back and relax. Yeah, exactly. So it's 458 miles now on ah, this road. 458 miles. Yes. All right, let's do it. Lunchtime. Just kind of having a random assortment of snacks for lunch because we kept like accumulating stuff. Like we got these crackers, we've got like these edamame wasabi beans. We have to smell a little bit of cashews, some chocolate. One really, really crushed pop tart. <laughs> one sort of coffee biscuit. <laughs> I um, think I will start with this one. Start with that one. I don't know. <laughs> some broken biscuits as well. So we're sort of accumulating a lot of stuff in the bag. So we thought for this lunch, we're just going to try and eat like all of this stuff. Mm, thank you. It's all right. So we've done nearly 150 miles so far. And today we're still going to try and do at least another 150 miles. Yeah. If we can break 300, 350, then we'll be doing really well. Let's see how far we can get today. Maybe we can break our record today. Hello. I see on your thing it said coast to coast. Yes. How far have you walked? I'm not a walker, I'm a runner. You're a runner? Yeah. No way. Yes. Where did you start? In Seaside, Norway. This is maybe number 7, no, 21. You're heading from the west coast? Yes, to the east, to New York City. And you're heading to New York City? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is my eighth run across the United States. The eighth time you've ran across the United States. An old, old car. I have uh, uh, made some changes. Uh, here uh, it says fifth time. Yeah. <laughs> fifth time. And there I was 68. I'm 75 now. Whoa, you're 75. Yes. This card is from when you ran from San Francisco to Boston. Yes, it was. Wow. So now you're 75, and this will be the eighth time yes. running across the United States. And you live in the United States? No, no, I'm from Sweden. You're from Sweden. Yes. Wow, that's insane. How, how far do you run each day? Uh, my average is 32 miles. 32 miles. So, so more than a marathon every yeah, day. Yes, it is. And uh, I, I don't take any rest days. I go from mountain to mountain. Just running the whole time? Yeah. Are you from England? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and my wife here, we are riding around the world. So around all the world? Or? Yeah, so we, we started, we went through Europe and North Africa and then we took the bike across to Brazil and we rode from Brazil round to the bottom of South America and then up through South America, Central America and then through the USA and then from Canada we take the bike over to South Korea and then we're taking a ferry to Siberia and riding back to England. So uh, where are you now in, in your uh, so, ride? So we've done 30,000 miles. We've been on the road now about 415 uh, days. Do you mostly camp? Or? Uh, we camp probably maybe like 50% half of the time. So it costs, I understand. Because it costs, costs a lot of money, this, this what you're doing. Yeah, well in America we, we don't stay in any rooms because it's too expensive. This will be my most expensive and I think it will cost about um, $15,000. $15,000, okay. Uh, but simply uh, because of the room price, right? Yes, 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 yes. How many days do you expect it to take uh, to reach New York? Well, now we should be careful with the words. <laughs> expect? What do you mean? <laughs> uh, how many days? Okay, how many days do you hope that it will take? No, 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 not hope. How many days? To be exact. 102. 102, and you know... If I follow my schedule. Okay, so you're trying to do exactly here to here, here. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm a person like, look, what shall I do today? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do it. <laughs> Just do it, get it done. Yes, it's raining and it's, it's everything. 
do it. <laughs> wow. How far have you been today? Um, 20 kilo, uh, not much, 20 kilometers. So like you run for a few weeks and then you, and then you take like a whole week off or? No, no, no. 100 days continuing. Ah, okay. So are you already planning the next thing? No, no, no. That, that would be the worst thing I could do if I come home and say to my wife, well, maybe <laughs> run number nine. In yeah, okay. Nine, she would be absolutely crazy. Okay, okay. <laughs> because I'm running every day at home, continue with that. that yes. That's my advice to people who do, uh, you know, uh, special things. Yeah, yeah. And I think uh, you should do, that's my advice to you also. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Now how cool is this? <laughs> is that too cool or worse? Yeah, well, it's a bit easier for us. We've got the uh, motorbike. No, but he's running. Yeah, absolutely. Are you going to Boise? Uh, I've been in Boise. Oh man! <laughs> is that where you're from, Boise? Yeah. Uh, this website. This is your website yeah. here? Yes, and I write in English. Okay, nice. So normally this is um uh for people who want to run with a baby. Many of the police stoppings. Uh, has been that people thought you had a baby yeah. uh, you need a sign on your back that says not a uh, baby not on board <laughs> it was really nice to meet you Bjorn yes. <laughs> good luck good. and that's it Bjorn is running if anyone in the world thinks that we are mad no the madness is running there that's the eighth time <laughs> How fit! Honestly, oh Nike needs to sponsor him. Yes, just do it. Just do it, hey? <laughs> well, absolutely amazing. Imagine this scenario. You're traveling in a foreign country, exploring the wonders of the world, but then all of a sudden you get sick. Panic sets in. You want to talk to a real doctor, but you don't speak the local language. What do you do? Well, let us tell you about this video sponsor, On Vacation Doctor. The On Vacation Doctor app connects you to English speaking doctors in any country in the entire world. You just need to add your location and the app will give you the name, the phone number and the location of the nearest English speaking doctor to you. It also has local fire, ambulance and police numbers as well as the US Embassy contact. This app is absolutely free to use for the first six months and then only $4.99 for the next six months. So super helpful and super affordable. So show your support for our very first sponsor by downloading the app for free today by clicking the link in the description below. Stay healthy, travel safe and now back to the video. All right, break time over baby. I am always have massive admiration for yeah. long distance ultra marathon runners like that. that Me just, too. Oh, it's like the pinnacle of what a human can do. That yeah. is just ultra, ultra exceptional. Yeah. So good on you Bjorn. Maybe we will see you in Sweden. <laughs> I hope so. We've got a lot of road to do and luckily we can just sit on our butts and do it like this. So yeah. Better hit the road. Let's go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Woo! Welcome to Oregon! And look, there's a beaver. That's nice. So we just stopped here at a rest area, uh, just over the border. Literally the state line is just there. We did a massive leg this time. I think we did 120 or 130 miles in wow. one go, wow. in one ride. So wow. we are on 277 for the day. I think we might be on track to get a new record for the most amount of miles in a day for the whole trip. This might be a new record. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how we get on. So we're just gonna have a snack, continue with 
these edamame beans which neither of us really like but we do like these I saw on um, on Google that the sunset here is at 9 30 Wow 9 30 so really late so we might can push it for a little bit longer we will see we will check out now on the overlander if there's something promising around and then we take the decision yeah what time is it now 5 20 okay yeah we still got a bit of time we still got about four hours of sunlight left because it would be nice to have a nice camp again you know so I think we have to we're not in the gonna be in the USA for that much longer so I think we have to kind of find a nice camp yeah Okay. okay all right we'll check it out all right Oregon here we come so after having a look on I Overlander it looks like the best place for us to camp coming up is in the Willowa Whitman National Forest but that's still 120 miles away we were pushing it a little bit but this is really our best option I think pushing it that extra little bit and then having a beautiful forest camp again which yeah. we've loved so much so far it's going to be worth it in the end yeah i think so too it's nice eh look at this water i just want to go like with a kayak Okay, 350 miles down now, and this is our last break before heading to the camp. We just filled up a full tank for the second time today. I think we have 50 miles more to go. How long has it been? Yeah, uh, a year or 400 days, 410 days. Wow. <laughs> Get everything you need. Yeah. Today we're going camping in the uh, the forest, state forest. Are you, are you Are you from Oregon or? Yeah, we live right that way, almost halfway to halfway. Okay. Those cameras are really such an awesome idea. Yeah. You do a pod. We have a YouTube channel. You do? Yeah. I don't do a whole lot online, but I might just look at it. Lavi? Yes, me, Lavi and Oli. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Th thank you. So I just saw a sign. We just crossed the 45th parallel. What it means is that we are now exactly halfway between the equator and the North Pole. And it's absolutely crazy because it feels like just yesterday that we crossed the equator. Yeah, it's true actually. <laughs> and now we've literally just passed one eighth of the entire world since we crossed the equator. We went all the way from 55 degrees south in Ushuaia and now we are 45 degrees north. It's pretty that's, crazy. Oh my god, that's crazy. I can't get my head around how many miles that is. Oh my god. Chilly, eh? Here we go. Yep. Entering the Willowa Whitman National Forest. Awesome. Yeah. Look at this. We're here. Oh, so good. We made it. We made it. Happy and alive. Uh, <laughs> no, you have to wait until we stop to say that. <laughs> Look at this. We haven't been surrounded by pine trees like this in ages. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's really, it really so nice. So nice. Okay, apparently the spot is here. Oh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay. Right. Okay, we have found ourselves a pretty flat spot over there. And uh, we also reckon that nobody else is going to come because the road getting there is pretty bad. But I'll give it a go. All right, here we go. So I've got to go around here. Up here. Yeah. Round, 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 round. Onto the grass. Woohoo! Perfect! All right, we found a spot at, Lee, at last, eh? Oh, and we still got a little bit of sunlight. Beautiful. 
Good evening guys, we made it, happy and alive. <laughs> happy and alive, Woo. in our camp chairs. <sighs> I love these chairs so much, this is great. And look, we've got behind us set up for the second time ever, our climate, beautiful, beautiful tent. And it just looks so cozy in there, look at this. <sighs> Doesn't that just look like home? Yeah, I feel like a real homeowner. So we're just uh, cooking up some food. What do we got for dinner tonight? Some really nice noodles. I will be really creative today and put a can of black beans in there. <laughs> nice. Yes. I trust that. It's going to be amazing. So 411 miles we did today. 411 miles. That absolutely smashed the previous amount that we did. I think the most we ever did before was like 350. So we just like, oh, we absolutely killed it today. And that means over the next two days, the last two days here in the US, we can take it a little bit easier. Yeah, we have to make sure in the future to come back here to the US because it's a massive country. It's so unbelievably beautiful. Even just riding on the highway, you have such a change of environment all the time. And it's just, yeah, it's crazy. But what a way to finish in the beautiful Wallowa State Forest. So it's gonna be a really nice night. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time good night forest good night forest